see what we got to realize is we are not taught how to live we're taught how to work for a system from the day that we're born from the moment we're born there's one thing that this construct has in mind for us and by us i mean the majority of us right not those who are of the elite because they're not even born in the same hospitals they're not born in the same places as as the rest of us we're not born and taught how to live we're not taught what the ground is about we're not taught what it is to be human we're not taught what it is to have a connection with creator and source we're not taught these things we are cut off from these things and we are taught and we are educated early on into a mindset and a mode of slavery Slavery that we will willingly sign up for because we're groomed in this way. We're educated in this way. We're schooled in this way. So our education necessitates that we find a scenario or a situation in which we can find ourselves of value and to be used um, to be, uh, again, valuable, right? To be profitable. But our profitability exists within our 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 compromise and our compliance within the system in which we're educated and schooled. So you go through your degrees of education and you get to the point where now you're trusted to be um, an employee of sort, a business owner incorporated under the master system of the, uh, the state government or the county government, which is incorporated under a state government, which is incorporated under your federal government. So these layers and levels of, of, of enslavement and control and uh, masters, these levels of, of, of masters that, we, uh, that, we, that we're subjugated under and by. So we're not, again, we're not taught how to live. We're taught how to work for the system. And we have to realize that it requires a great deal of effort, energy, strength, um, and also a desire to break away from that mindset and mentality because it literally infects everything, everything at this point. Um, and people, others who are entangled in this, in this mental construct will fight you even sometimes to the death um, when, you, when you don't comply and you don't see things as the system has taught you to see. And that's really what it is. We go through years and years of being educated so that we are unable to see anything outside of our education. And it's the same education that teaches us to work for Pharaoh, that teaches us to accept slavery, that teaches us to accept less than humanity in our lives. We're supposed to be living off of the ground, but you don't get ground to live off of. You don't get ground to learn life um, you know, uh, you look at ancient systems of Kemet and 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 others, but we we're all the way back to ancient Kemet or the land of the blacks, right? And we gave attention to nature, and that's how we developed uh, sciences, and that's how we learned how to govern ourselves and live at peace and peaceably with our neighbors and be a community. And you know, this is this is how we how we comprehended uh, north, south, east, west. This is how we comprehended one plus one. This is how we comprehended um, seed into ground and the spacing required for whatever seed it was that we placed in ground and how much to cover and water and the concepts and the principles of sunlight and air, oxygen, these things. Simply by spending time in our natural environment. But we have been largely cut off from nature. We have been cut off from this study of self and how self navigates and finds itself in and in, in relating to and with the rest of all that is alive. This is how we're to live, but we're not taught these things. And why are we not taught these things? Why are we not taught to pay attention to when we close our eyes and we can feel rhythm or vibration or that the wind is coming from one way and that the sun is hitting you from one direction so this means 
that it may be what time of day or what point of orientation that you're in on earth or where you where you are on earth these sorts of things they come from giving attention to what is natural not being schooled or educated within a system that only teaches you how to move from the crack of the whip raise your hand to go to the bathroom get a hall pass to travel raise your hand to ask a question do as you're told regurgitate information memorize this information learn this or you're wrong do this or you're wrong do that or you're wrong say it this way or you're wrong see we're schooled and educated we're not taught we're not learned we're schooled and we're schooled and you have to ask yourself why what is the what is the outcome the expected outcome of the education in which we place ourselves under that outcome is not liberation and freedom that outcome is to be eventually a good boss or employee and a boss is really just the higher level of an employee even if you run your own businesses i just touched you still work for the master corporation of whatever city county state or if you're directly incorporated uh, to do business and under the federal government either way you're an employee the corporations themselves are we all possess these uh nine digit numbers which uh which give us corporate identifier marks and it it, it literally um brands us within the flow of commerce and capital our social security or tax id numbers or employee identification numbers employer, excuse me, identification numbers. Either way, it's the same system that it all exists in. So it takes audacity, courage, and again, great, great, great effort and desire to move apart from this construct in which we've been um, so heavily, uh, heavily taught is, uh, is the way of life. It's really not. Do the research for yourself, you figure it out, and report what you come back with. Let's build as a collective. Let's build, let's get free, let's liberate ourselves in our thinking, let's liberate ourselves in our living, and our being, and then maybe then we'll be close enough to Creator to really get the truth and to really be inspired again by true divinity without the clouds of education which separate us from that.